Fred's Beds by Barbara Samuels. Zelda's dog Fred can sleep almost anywhere. The doormat bed. The doormat is the perfect spot to keep a lookout for Zelda and the groceries. Fred waddles inside. Could there be something here for me? Fred wonders. He investigates. Hmm, what's this? He had been hoping for something to eat. But there is nothing for Fred. Nothing at all. At times like these, Fred needs a nap. Some dogs have fancy beds. Not Fred. He curls up inside one of the shopping bags and sighs. Soon he's dreaming about eating lamb chops with Zelda. The shopping bag bed. When Fred wakes up, something messy and fun is going on in the kitchen. Is it snowing? Fred plops down by the counter. If he stays very still, a treat may fall his way. The pile of old newspapers bed. Zelda leaves the kitchen and Fred follows. Soon the smell of roses fills the air, along with the big bubbles Fred likes to pop with his nose. Can there be anything better than life with Zelda, thinks Fred as he drifts off to sleep. The slightly soggy bath towel bed. It isn't long before the doorbell is ringing. So many little people. So many sticky little hands. So many things to eat. Fred wonders if the roses on the cake taste better than the ones in the garden. Uh-oh. There's a rose on Fred's nose. He's in big trouble. He sees the perfect place to hide. But... The noisy baby bed. Time out. Zelda says Fred has been a bad dog. He has put his nose in the cake. He has made a baby cry. Now he must go to the backyard and think about it. Fred does not want to think about it. He would rather look for the beef jerky he buried last week. But digging is hard work. Exhausted, he collapses into a patch of periwinkles and petunias. The flower bed. Back inside, the guests are getting restless. They burst into the backyard. They holler and screech. They wake up Fred. That beagle is toast! shouts the boy with the bow tie. Keep your hands off my dog, cries Zelda. The guests are coming closer. Fred can smell the pizza on their breath. Fred makes a narrow escape and bolts down to the basement where he can hear his heart thumping in the dark. The used to be fresh laundry bed. Finally, it's quiet. The guests are gone. Zelda cleans Fred up and shows him the presents. Surprise! One of them is for Fred. The brand new bed. Later, Zelda tucks Fred into his cozy new bed and turns out the light. Zelda's dog, Fred, can sleep almost anywhere. The Best Bed